Hi everyone, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today we're going to take a look at Spyware Terminator's detection and removal abilities. Um, I'm, in, I'm going to go ahead and install Spyware Terminator on a uh, PC with uh, hundreds of malware infections and we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. We saw yesterday that um, Spyware Terminator blocked every single threat that we could throw at it. So it, it performs very well on the uh, preventative side. Let's see how it does on the detection and removal side of things. So you already saw me install it yesterday. I'm not gonna take a bunch of time on that. So I'm gonna pause the video while this is installing. I'll be right back. Okay, picking up from that install, we're going to go ahead and say protect against spyware and viruses. We're going to integrate uh, Win Clam AV Shield into Spyware Terminator. So obviously, um, no program can usually uh, clean off 100% of the infections on this PC. It's kind of rare. Um, what we're looking for, our goal is to get the PC as functional as possible without any apparent infections. We also want to be able to use the internet, you know, without any pop ups or redirections. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm going for. This is a free product, by the way. I said that in the last videos. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of quick here because I already kind of explained most of the uh, most of the uh, interface yesterday. You can watch the previous video. That was the prevention video. I'm just kind of setting this up to scan for maximum effectiveness. Uh, so we already have Spyware Terminator has blocked a threat. Hide that dialog. I've already updated everything. Just kind of looking over my settings, make sure they're good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a full virus and spyware scan. And we're going to do uh, all local drives. And we'll hit scan now. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and let this scan. And... Um, I'll pause the video. We'll come back and take a look at the results. Uh, the time is 8:10 p.m. and uh, we'll just let it go from there. I'm gonna head over to the park, walk my dogs, and let's uh, see what happens with the scan. I'll be back in a few seconds for you guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm not sure how long that took. It's 8:59 uh, now. And when I came back in, it was finished scanning. Found a lot of stuff. Um, I'm trying to get a count right now, but I don't see any way to do that. 
Uh, maybe it'll give me a log afterwards. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just remove everything. And let's just uh, take a look at the removal process here. Uh, hang on one sec. Okay, it says uh, it's going to remove... Uh, to remove SVC host, you must first stop SVC host. That can cause a reboot. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So um, my taskbar down here, my system tray down here, is, is much smaller, that's for sure. Uh, it looks like it's trying to uh, terminate a process over and over and over again. Still doing the same thing. Um, so... I'm just going to go ahead and let it uh, keep trying to remove the stuff, and I'll pause the video, and when the removal is complete, we'll come right back. Okay, guys, it removed a lot of stuff, but it's saying selected software could not be successfully removed. Um, we need to re reboot our computer. And uh, it doesn't say it's going to be removed at boot up. It just says it can't be removed. And uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll restart, and I'll be right back. Now, this is cool right here. Um, well, it went too fast, but uh, it was doing a little uh, boot up deletion scan thing. So, uh, Windows is starting up now, and uh, I need to start another video here in a couple seconds. Okay, well, as soon as I logged into Windows, it started doing a fast scan. And it's found five objects. And we can see two fake alerts down here, but everything else is gone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the scan run. And I'm going to start video two, and I'm guessing video two will be doing a. Uh, a safe mode scan because it looks like it can detect a lot of stuff but it's having trouble in normal mode uh, removing those objects which is common for a lot of uh, anti-malware programs a lot of times you gotta go into safe mode so I will go on to video 2 now 